All right, so the first gun we're gonna have up is actually a gun from my personal collection. I think this is a Mersion M1 Garand or Garand for all of you really weirdos that out there that like to say Garand, but I know it's his actual name. But that's I was about to say that, isn't that the real name of the guy who created it? So if you're looking for an M1 nowadays, you can pick up the ICS or the G&G, but we're not here to talk about the gun itself. We're here to talk about the gun in movies. So now, I know you have a couple movies that come to mind. One, Oh yeah, Gran Torino, uh, Saving Private Ryan will probably be the most iconic, right? Um, everyone there used uh, the M1 Garand. Uh, honestly, what comes to mind for me is The Dark Knight. Uh, the scene where the Joker is disguised as a police officer, um, he actually shoots uh, Professor Gordon in the chest with one. So. He was aiming for the mayor. But, but he jumped Gordon, in the way, right? Commissioner Gordon yeah. came in and did his thing and saved the mayor. Exactly. Faked his death and came back. Oof. Yeah, that was a very pivotal scene. But for me, uh, when I think M1 Garand in movies, there there is a couple of other movies. No, there's a ton of war movies with, featuring the M1. Oh, of course. Um, like you said, Saving Private Ryan. Uh, another one that comes to mind for me is Big Red One. Uh, one of the forgotten oh. Mark Hamill movies from way back in the 80s. Wow. He's, he kind of overpowered everything with Star Wars, but uh, his entire squad was using M1s in that movie. And the thing that gets me really is the scene from Jaws when oh. Brody is up on the uh, the boat, or I don't know what they call that mast right there, but he shoots the shark with the scoop tank in his mouth, and he was using an M1. And that for me is probably the most iconic scene in film featuring the M1 uh, Garand. So that's that for me is my go-to whenever I think the M1 in movies. All right, so for the next gun on the list, it is going to be the Crytac Chris Vector. Now, the Vector has been featured in quite a few movies. A couple of them would be the newest Predator movie and Resident Evil Retribution, I think? I think it was Retribution. Uh, I believe Alice was using it without stocks on it. She actually had two of them, so that was a pretty dope scene right yeah. there. Yeah. The movie that comes to mind has to be Deadpool 2 with Cable. Uh, his was a super tricked out one with a Thompson stock and some crazy long key mod rail. But the fact that the Vector was his like go-to gun, it was really unique to see this as like the primary weapon of choice. Mike, what do you think? Uh, personally, the, the Vector for me is a very futuristic looking gun and it does fit that futuristic role very well. Uh, it doesn't handle as well as some you know rifles out there like you know standard ARs or anything like that, but it does fit that futuristic look very, very well. Now, the movie that comes to mind for me when I see the Vector is actually gonna be Total Recall. Um, it was already based in the future as it was, and then the gun itself just fit the kind of the aura of the movie very, very well. And the one scene in particular that gets my attention is the zero gravity scene where uh, yeah. they turn the gravity off and then everyone's kind of floating around. And then you have um, you know the guards bringing their weapons up that are also vectors. And then we also have our main character grabbing the vector out of midair and just start blasting away at everyone. So that was a very cool scene for the vector, and I feel like it fit that movie very, very well. All right, so for number three on the list, it is going to be... The HK-416. All right, so a few of the movies that this gun was featured in would be 13 Hours, where some of the CIA agents were using it in the background, and Marky Mark got to use this in Mile 22. So, in addition to those, now, the one movie that really stands out for both of us, I'm actually gonna have that back to you, because I got my own right here. Oh, what? Uh, the movie that stands out for oh. both of us is actually Zero Dark Thirty. Uh, this was used by the entire squad in the Bin Laden raid, um, and it was the gun that did take down Bin Laden in real life. That wasn't just you know, some random gun that they threw in there. So this is actually a custom gun that we built way back when the entire raid actually went down before the movie had actually come out. And a few photos got leaked, so we decided to build a custom around that. So that is our go-to pick for the 416 in film. We definitely has to go to Zero Dark Thirty. There's, there's nothing really else we can think of the to give that title to. And fun fact for all of you movie buffs out there, the first time the 416 was actually featured on film on the big screen was actually on Hancock with Will Smith during the bank robbery scene. All right, so for number two on the list, it is going to be the HK MP7. Now, the movie that immediately comes to mind for me is going to be G.I. Joe Retaliation. It's going to be the scene where Snake Eyes is actually fighting Storm Shadow up in the mountains. Blast all the shirt if someone doesn't shoot him. Very We're not here to criticize movies. We're here to talk about the guns in the movies. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that, that was a really good scene. But, uh, for some reason, I don't know why, but whenever I think MP7s in movies, I think Zombieland. When they come across the Hummer with the giant oh, sack yeah. of guns in the back, <laughs> and Woody Harrelson just pulls this out, just <laughs> for no reason whatsoever. It's like, I don't, that just brings a, a joy to my heart, seeing this <laughs> dude having a blast in the zombie apocalypse, because you just gotta enjoy the little things. 
in the apocalypse. See, in my opinion, I feel like that would have just drawn more zombies, but whatever. Enjoy the little things. True. All right, so the last gun that we got up is going to be the M14. This particular one is made by g g This is one of the nicer M14s available to the market with a imitation wood all throughout the entire body of it, and this thing is a great, great performer. But again, we're here to talk about the movies, and uh, now, for me personally, the a couple movies that come to mind, one, Forrest Gump, when he's going through Vietnam and um, living out that era of his life, he is issued an M14. Uh, another movie that really does come to mind for me with the uh, M14 would be Black Hawk Down. Now, the scene in particular when the Hawk actually goes down they send in the rescue team to go save the the pilot and the crew uh one of them is carrying an m14 with a m2 red dot on it and he just you know doing his thing and it was a absolutely fantastic scene really heart-wrenching and it shows the the actual brutality of war and it you know it, it's a tough scene to watch honestly now i'm gonna pass that on to you now for me i have to say it's gonna be 20 weeks later uh the rooftop scene with um I forget his name. Um, something Jeremy called. Renner. Jeremy Renner. There it is. Um, Hawkeye. So on top of the roof uh, when he's just patrolling and then the scene where the outbreak kind of happens in the facility and they're just on top of the on top of the buildings with the scopes and they're just uh, picking everybody off one by one. Um, all the infected one by one, I should say. Um, Better word. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so uh, it that is the go-to movie for me what uh makes me really think of the m14 uh so much so that i recreated one myself unfortunately i didn't i do not have it here today but maybe i'll bring it in and take some pictures with it um they did have like a uh, bipod and the uh, it was like a rifle like three to nine uh, uh scope but this is definitely really cool this one feels really great all right, guys, so this has been our rendition of five guns that were in movies that kind of just stood out to us. If any of the guns that were used today reminded you of a different movie, put in the comments below. Make sure you like the video and hit the subscribe button for more content and ring the bell. All right, guys, and we do also still have our giveaway going that ends next week. That's October the 25th. We have to hit 400,000 subscribers. If we hit that number, we will give away a classic Iron Piper gun. All right, so at the end of that, make sure you go to last Thursday's episode of GITV, comment hashtag Airsoft, and give a little story of your favorite noobish airsoft story. You'll be entered for a chance to win that micro gun if we hit 400,000 subscribers. So tell all your friends, tell your family, tell your dog, mailman, roommates, whoever you might be friends with, or people that you know to subscribe to our channel so we can hit that number. So you got a shot at winning a class card micro gun at absolutely no cost. So it takes a little bit of effort on all our ends, but hey, you might get an awesome micro gun. All right, guys, so I hope you enjoyed this episode of GI TV. As always, my name is Michael. I'm Cisco. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. So, Mike, you like movies, right? I guess. I mean, why are we friends, Mike? God damn it. <laughs> this in Italian is. What the fuck? <laughs> in, if, in if, someone's talking to, if you see someone talking to someone in Italian and you do this, you know that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, a few of the movies that this gun was featured in would be 13 Hours, where some of the CAA. I was going to. It was a combination of operatives and agents. Operative. Operative. <laughs> <laughs>